back to my channel if it's your first time here you're actually welcome i'm a food and lifestyle vlogger currently living in northern cyprus with my husband and my son and today i'm in my kitchen as usual and i have a guest a guest that you know you already know he's going to be showing us how he makes his a, a goosey soup we're going to make it in nigeria a goosey soup and guys truly if my husband enters the kitchen he makes magic then. Yes, guys. So I want you guys to come along and watch how he makes this egusi soup. It's so yummy. I've tasted this egusi soup before. So I said, since you want to cook again, let me film and show my subscribers. So guys, let's go try it out and comment down below. This is going to be the best husband egusi soup. As in, if you guys are not ready, let's go, guys. I hope you subscribe. If you've not, kindly subscribe. And yeah, let's go. So guys, here is the full ingredient of what he'll be using to make his egusi soup, as you can see. And I'm also going to put in down the um, ingredients in the description box. So we have, he's going to be using the dry pepper, crayfish, salt, seasoning cube, egusi, oil, spinach, and he has pre-boiled his chicken. He's going to be using chicken. Guys, his recipe is very simple, but very tasty. Let's watch him do this, guys. So my husband is ready and he has his pot here so he'll be showing us what do you have to say to our subscribers? Yeah, my subscribers are my wife's subscribers <laughs> uh, I want to show you how to cook a goosey soup Yes Okay? Yes First of all we start by lighting up the gun Yeah the By lightening, he's lightening up the gas Gas That's yeah. the first thing And your pot And uh, oil yeah, he's going to be using red oil. He has dried the pot. So this depends, this actually depends on the egusi that you'll be making. So here he's heating up his oil. So you're heating it up, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be adding the egusi now. Guys, don't make the oil too hot or too cold. Like, just make the oil normal. Then he's going to be frying his own egusi. He's frying his own egusi. Fry properly, guys. It's actually very simple, but I'm telling you, very yummy. I can testify. This is the best husband ibusi soup recipe you can ever get. Yeah. Trust me, guys. In the world. In the world, he said. My husband said, "In the world, yeah. he said so. so." Yes. That noble says so. Yes, no, noble that says so. Yeah. So it tends to fry it a bit. Can I add my salt? Yeah. Not too much salt. Yeah. And he had cooked the chicken. He has the chicken and the chicken brought over there. So you can use any meat of your choice, but he's making use of chicken, as I told you. His recipe is actually very fast and simple, but very tasty, guys. Yeah. He's going pepper. to be adding his dry pepper. You can use any pepper of your choice, guys. Depending on how you love your pepper, yeah. he's adding the pepper right now. Now he has lowered the fire so as to... Yeah, for you not to get burnt, exactly. So he's frying it well, like frying it. What are you using my mind? He's going to be using his seasoning cube. Yeah. You don't need to use too much because he has actually cooked the meat with um 
what's it called with his seasoning cube so be careful he's using just one here be careful guys just follow the step make sure that your heat is very low on low heat guys because he's been stirring this with adding his seasoning and all that so let it be on low heat Yeah, lots of crayfish because he's not using any other thing, just the crayfish. Then the mist talk, he's using chicken as I told you guys. Yeah. With the mist talk, he's going to be pouring it in. He's going to be adding little water, but he wants to stir first. Guys, there, he has not poured any external water, just the meat broth, the chicken broth rather. So he's going to be pouring in water, but he just wants to stay properly. Depending on how thick or how um, the consistency you actually want, that is what you add. So. I know that you know he loves thick egusi, so <laughs> he loves thick. He doesn't want watery egusi, so he's always very careful with the water. Another thing, guys, at this point, he said he's going to be covering and he will allow it to steam for like five minutes, and he will taste it and see, and we'll check how it tastes. He's going to be covering. And he'll be leaving it for five minutes. We're going to check now. He's putting it on high heat. All this while it's been on low heat. But now he's putting it on high heat for five minutes and we'll be back, guys. So, guys, after five minutes, we've checked it and we've tasted it. Guys, this is actually the best husband recipe, a goosey recipe, guys. Trust me, try this. Try this recipe. It's so yummy. Like, it's so yummy, guys. Remember, the spinach will actually come last. So, he's going to be adding spinach now. Once you add your spinach, guys, the soup is actually ready. So, he's going to be adding spinach. You can use any quantity of your channel, like I said. That the noble loves his egusi thick, but if you want your consistency a bit watery, you can still add water. Now he's added it. I think you still need to add a little water because this is really thick. Okay, said I should wait. Is not my own recipe. This is own recipe. Guys, this looks so good. I'm going to be putting down the ingredients in the description box so you could actually check it out. It's very easy. This egusi is easy and it's very yummy. Is it okay? Is the consistency okay? Yeah. So he said he's not adding water anymore. At this point, he's going to be tasting. Taste. This looks so good, guys. So you're going to be covering for how many minutes? Like three minutes. Three minutes, guys. And we're done. I'll be showing you guys when the soup is actually done after three minutes. So guys, after three minutes, this is what it's looking like. It looks so good and it tastes so nice. Please guys, follow this recipe for your quick egusi soup. You will love this. You will love it guys. I've, 
I've tasted it and it tastes so nice. We did not use much ingredients and it came out nice. My husband actually makes the best Ibusi soup in the world, as he said. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And go to the comment section. Thank him. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, guys.